right, folks, Larry Wingard here, back with another episode of Ask Larry Anything, the YouTube series where you can ask Larry Wingard, that's me, anything in the world you'd like to know, and I would be happy to give your question a shot. All you have to do is write me at info at LarryWingard.com. Let's get right to today's question. I have been blessed with extraordinary success at work and have a great family life, but somehow I never quite feel completely satisfied or deeply happy. I feel myself continually pushing the envelope. For instance, when I was in sales, I would set my goal at 200% of quota and then beat it. And then even as the commissions rolled in and I was winning awards, I kept asking myself, why didn't I do 300%? Now I am the CEO of a company with 40 employees and we are growing and profitable. But again, I still feel myself driving hard. How do you determine when enough is enough and just to be content. Well, listen, don't beat yourself up too hard for being driven. Way too few people are really driven. Way too few people really have high expectations for themselves and then set out to exceed those expectations. You do that, I applaud you for that. However, not being happy, not being content is a problem as you recognize. First of all, I would say, Never be content. I'm never truly content because I always know, regardless of how hard I worked, I could have done a little more. Now, I am content in knowing that. You can always do a little more. Should you do a little more? If you can, you should. However, knowing that you have the ability to do a little more, and we all should know that we have that ability, you have to remember balance. If you're putting so much effort into one area of your life, you must understand that other areas of your life will be sacrificed. Is that sacrifice worth it to you? I'm a big believer in balance. In fact, my definition of success is being all you can be in each area of your life without sacrificing other areas. Now, I also understand this. Most of the time, we are all out of balance especially when we are at an age and in a job where we really have to give it everything we can in order to capitalize on our peak earning years and our peak earning opportunities. When you are in that sort of situation, you kind of got to give it your all. And other areas of your life will suffer when you're doing that. But <clears throat> you also have to know that you can't totally ignore other areas of your life. Now, I know you said you had a happy family life, and I'll take it, your word on that. But what I would tell you is that contentment must come from understanding you have to have goals in all areas of your life that are really more balanced than what you are telling me here. You seem to be all about job achievement. I've been there. I understand that. I talk to a lot of people who are all about how much they can earn, and that's where they set their, their level of, uh, 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 of value in themselves, that I've made this much money, or they set it all in their job. I now have reached this title, or I have this many people working for me, or whatever it might be. Some people say, I live in that house. I've been there. That was my, uh, where I set my mark to say, when I can live in that house, I know I've made it. When I can drive that car, we all do that. That's natural. And the problem is not doing that. The problem is becoming so focused on those things as how you uh, value yourself that it creates a lack of happiness and a lack of contentment. I went out and set goals for myself in all areas of my life so I could really look at my life to say, am I balanced? Am I giving equal uh, time and effort and energy to the other areas so I just don't constantly say, I measure myself based on the numbers I hit, whether it be numbers in terms of money or sales or whatever, number of books I sell, number of products I sell. I set my goals for myself in other areas. How much time am I spending with my family? How much time am I spending just doing things for myself where I can sit on my patio and uh, smoke a cigar and read a book and where I can spend time with my dogs, enjoying the place that I've worked so hard to buy and live? How much time do I put in to seeing my family and 
visiting with my friends and those things. Those things are also bring much value to your life and do bring about happiness. I feel, find that I am happier and more content when I know I've done my best, not in one area, but in all areas, and have achieved some sort of balance. That's my suggestion to you. Really examine your life. That's my suggestion for everybody. Examine your life to see if you have balance, whether you're really doing your very best in all areas of your life. Understanding that from time to time, we've got to put all of our effort into taking care of our family. And then other times, we've got to put all of our effort into earning more money or doing better at work. But overall, contentment is going to come when you know you've given all areas of your life your very best. Hope that helps you. Thanks so much for watching, folks. And don't forget to write me at info at LarryWinget.com.